Eric wants to know, you know, since we're talking about band conditions, any tricks to break through the pileup? Oh, and, I see a video uh, on this. <laughs> I think I thought I did one on pileups. I mm -hmm. I thought we talked about this once before. Um, I'll have to, I'll have to look quick, but um, I think the key is the I think number one key to breaking the pile up is to listen one or two rounds to see how the station is managing the pile up, how mm -hmm. they're working the pile up. Um, because once you kind of hear them, you know, kind of work through things, you know, are they, are they tail enders? Are they picking people first? Are they all over the place? Are they trying to grab as many as they can mm -hmm. and then work those people? And once you kind of understand how the person is, working the pile up, then you can then you can kind of get in there and um make it make it through the pile up. It's some of them have been some of these pile ups have been horrendous. And mm -hmm. um you know the people with with the amplifiers are the ones that always seem to float to the top, but not always the case. No. I think it's what I usually do is um you know if if they're tail enders, you know, maybe wait a half a second to kind mm -hmm. of just sort of stretch your call out a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, if they're picking people at the beginning, you know, try to get in there right away to get your, to at least try to get your, your prefix in. Um, and just and give it, you know, try one. If one thing doesn't work, try the other thing, you know, it's, and, but just sort of, you know, be patient with it. If, if you can't, after about four or five times, you can't get through, um, just give it, you know, Go um, walk away and then come back in five, 10 minutes. And the whole um, um, composition of the pileup may have changed and mm -hmm. you'll find an open spot. So, and band conditions it, will change too. And band conditions will change too. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. But I've seen pileups, I've seen people that have, you know, push through, you know, there'll be a pileup and, you know, I'll be on the receiving end of a pileup and I'll have, um, you know, I'll, I'll have, I'll be um, pounded for like, you know, five or 10 minutes and then things will shift a little bit. And then all of a sudden it just drops out of the floor. And then, right. you know, maybe that's, that's your opportunity. All the big guns have left and, mm -hmm. you know, the jump in there. So. And another thing too, to consider is listen, what calls the person is picking up. If yep. they're picking up a lot of six and seven calls, you know, obviously he's got, you know, that person's got a good you know pipeline to the West. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, if you have a antenna that may be a little directional, maybe you adjust that antenna too. Yep. You know, turn that a little bit to the to uh, optimize what you have there. Um, listening though is kind of the key. Like you said, are they picking up calls at the beginning? Are they picking up later calls? Um, yep. A few other things you can do is you can adjust with your uh, uh, audio processor. You can a little bit of compression. So normally it works. works. Yep. Um, the old, like the Kenwood 520s had a DX button. Actually, it was a knob that you pulled out, and that gave a little more oomph in the audio. Uh, basically, it was a compressor as well. Uh, but you can play with that a little bit. Don't push your signal so much that you're splattering all over the place. Please yeah. don't do that, guys. That's, that's a naughty. Just uh, a little bit, just but just a little bit of compression. Sometimes that just gives you... Yes, a touch, a little bit. But the other thing, too, Call with authority. With authority, you know. <laughs> like an apartment, you know. No, don't exactly. Like, I'm... Don't be like Kilo Delta Nine Charlie Juliet X Ray. No, it's Kilo Delta Nine Charlie Juliet X Ray. You know, That's right. uh, don't scream it. Don't overmodulate, but say it with a little authority, with a little oomph. Um, the what? one thing, you know, if I'm going to have a chit chat with you, I don't want a person that's like, eh, you know. <laughs> Have a conversation, even if we're just exchanging calls. Be excited about it. Not what is it? Yeah. But, yeah. Remember, remember what what Stephen Colbert always used to say. You know, speak speak with gravitas. So with, yeah, <laughs> cojones. Yeah, yeah, and that that works a lot. That a yeah. lot of times that works. You know, it's it's you know, say it like you mean it, and that's say it like that's, you're from Texas. Yeah, because you're you're a little <laughs> bit different. You know. Um, I probably shouldn't say this, uh, but um, sometimes if you're just a little bit off frequency, just enough to change your pitch, that That's catches their <laughs> that catches their attention. And um, <laughs> you know what uh, you else just... is worth worth three dB? 
a YL voice. Yeah, yeah. You get them every time. YL <laughs> station go. <laughs> you will break if you are a lady or you are a kid, it's a lot easier to break through the pilot. Nothing, you know, gender wise. It's because it's a totally different, you know, audio it's pitch. The pitch. The pitch is it different. Is. That's why I see really yeah. is. You know, so <laughs> ladies can you know, you know, ladies, ladies first, right? So yeah. that's that really is the truth. And it's, it's, it's just to finish up here, it's 45 Auto says, yeah, please adhere to the DX code of conduct. So um, don't throw your don't throw your call sign in the middle of a queue. So, you know, wait, listen first before you transmit and yep. know how things are going. So you can kind of so so that you're not you're not stepping on people, you know, in an in, in existing queue. You so want to know how to not get through call before they say qrz that's right uh, that operator <laughs> hears you talking over uh, off his current q so he ain't gonna call you back no matter what because you're being nope. a lid thank you so much for the questions if you keep sending them we'll keep answering them feel free to leave your questions and comments down in the comment area below i'll filter through them and who knows yours may end up on our next your questions answered live stream our q a live streams happen on the first thursday of the month starting at seven o'clock p.m central time i hope to see you there for more articles and information along with a full line of vhf and uhf antennas for sale please check out my website at www.jpol-antenna.com your support of this channel drives the production of future videos. Check us out on Patreon. Patrons gain access to exclusive content, and our patrons help keep the mission alive. That's over on patreon.com slash kb9vbr antennas. Well, give us that thumbs up if you like this video, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if it's your first time here. That's your best way to be notified when a new video is released. I'm Michael, KB9VBR. Have a great day, and 73.